Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here at Sundergrot. We are back for this quest. We are going to be doing, hopefully, uh, a good job at completing it. That is the ideal thing. Now, uh, since last episode, I have done, I think, a total of three streams uh, in which I have done a few things in the background. The main one of that, which you may be able to tell, uh, is I have been to Minas Tirith, I finally got the guide skill to there and after battle ask Gilead, uh to help us out a little bit because uh, the plan is, uh, and I've done them for today, uh, the plan is I now have Kindred with the defenders of Minas Tirith. Uh, currently you can go higher, you can go three tiers higher but they don't give you any benefit. Um, Kindred, so the, the the one, so friend gives you two sets of daily quests, and then Kindred gives you a third. Uh, by doing that, we are then able to get tokens, four of which of those tokens uh, we can use to get Amphless Scrolls of Empowerment, which we can use on our legendary item, in this situation our bow, and we can upgrade any of the non-DPS tier legacies. So, for example, Hunter Damage Over Time, we're 50% at 51. Uh, if we would add a Scroll of Empowerment, we would get to 52 and 50.5. Not a massive increase, but an increase nonetheless. Now, if we go to 83, the maximum is 66% damage over time. Now, I have quite a lot of them. Now, I have... Uh, these are replacement scrolls, but this is a Scroll of Empowerment. This is 10 and this is 4, so 15 total. So, we're going to be using those today, hopefully. Uh, plus, I think I get one for this quest as well as a Starlit Crystal, which, speaking of which... I did a, uh, to get the reputation, I was doing some quests, uh, came across a quest uh, in a chain that gave us a Starlit Crystal. One of two non-main quests that seemed to give it, the other one being actually here at Sundera. Um Bearing in mind as well, I have disabled my experience during this entire time using the Stone of the Tortoise, uh, which we have, which disables all experience, minus uh, our legendary experience for this medium bridle of the third age because it's level 100 i wanted to see what the difference is that really doesn't make a difference though uh, we also have our bow which we are now gonna enable leveling on as well um either way we're also gonna look at our hobby gift of the day there's a lot going on sorry um so our hobby gift of the day 20 virtual experience to uh, gold i made quite a lot of gold as well to be fair i have 517 now and for our gold a 50 virtual experience Plus advanced supplies, gifts, yeah, plus gifts. So we got a gold, we got a pet cozy kid. What? I'm trying to, medallions plus a pet cozy kid. It's a kid, a kid's a child goat, isn't it? Am I right? Goat kid. Oh, it's cute. Look at it. Um, either way, we'll get rid of that for the minute. And uh, another thing as well is I have... Uh, bought myself a new bow. It is not the ideal bow for me, but it's level 125. You can see the DPS difference. 882 to 2383. Uh, we do lose the damage over time. Uh, in, I've realized as well, induction bow damage isn't a huge thing for us because barrage and penetrating shot and blood arrow are all fast skills, so it doesn't actually benefit that. But doesn't give us agility. It gives us might, but it, we do get 1721 fate and 2559 vitality so we get a nice vitality increase and we'll get a boost in damage so for example uh 7000 let's say seven nine eight thousand to ten thousand from that switch over and we get ten thousand to fourteen thousand damage on barbed arrow so hopefully that also helps us here uh starlit crystal i'm also going to use going to make sure we use that on our uh this bow it is this bow Cool. That'll upgrade the level by one. It's not going to make it our best bow in the world, but it means we can get a teeny bit more damage. Uh, 882. So we get 16 extra damage per second, um, which we're hoping to get. So there's a lot going on. Um, I also found out, whilst we might as well come in here and try actually battling these, uh, battle these guys, um, I also found out that I thought epic battles would not affect legendary items. I thought if I go into there and my legendary bow is level 100, it shouldn't get lowered in any way. Uh, it does get lowered to like 500 minimum DPS, so that is something we need to be careful of. Also be careful of is we need to go around here. Um, so I thought we'd be able to get to like 3000 DPS on our bow and uh, you know, wreck in uh, epic battles. And it still might be good, I'm not sure how it'll calculate it but um... Oh, I'm against three again. This might be a problem. 
Four. Okay, let's... It might honestly... Oh, it'd be better just to run away after killing the one. Like, can I get up here and, like, lose the Gundabad Stalker? Main question is, can I get down here and pick up the weapon before I get damaged? I can. Cool. That's all I wanted, is to get out of there. A few other things I've done. Uh, I've leveled up my Scholar a little bit when our Iron Fold, um, because I found out Doom Fold, for example, we can make potions. Uh, we can make these, like, 35k. For exactly the same price, you can make the Supreme ones. I forgot I could do that and didn't do it. So, uh, I made a load of the regular ones, not the Supreme ones, but morale pots and morale pots. Uh, if we go to Iron Fold, we can also use it to make the, uh, these ones for, like, 58k, 60k, um, which we're honestly gonna need, probably. I don't want to die again, like, a fifth time. Let's get out of here. I'm just gonna run away from this one, and hopefully he stops aggroing me. Please. At least until, like, this is back on, and then I can probably take you out. So I still have to kill enemies. I don't know if you'll count, now that you're so far away. No, he won't. Because I think it's, yeah, it's based on region of where you kill them, I think. Um, but yeah, I've been, been trying to do a lot of stuff. We've uh, been streaming a little bit more uh, as of late. Um, obviously trying to get that... Uh, that Minas Tirith rep, because that's something definitely useful for us. And uh, yeah, it just allows us to be a bit more productive. I obviously uh, have been disabling my XP uh, during those days uh, of streaming or times of streaming, because um, I don't want it to be, even though I'm like streaming and recording it, I don't want it to be like not documented in a way, is the way I like to describe it. Um, how many more do we have to kill? I'm going to cut this soldier aggroed. Not the driver. Oh, what's this happening here? You've got like... It's weird. Yeah, I've, I've been doing a lot of that. Um, obviously, epic battles in the future. Trying to get Starlit Crystals or just buying them or doing whatever I need to do. Um, I think, you know, if I start streaming it, at least, like, I'm going to be more, like, pushed to do it. Whereas, like, if I'm doing it off camera and I'm not like streaming it and it's just like in my own time quote unquote um I feel like I'm less likely to remind myself today why am I getting so arid mithrin celebrant essence right 5,000 power this why is it so low compared to this I get power is low but like I'm pretty sure even the doomfold ones are higher okay no maybe not it's weird it's just such like a different thing. I think I can't go that annoyingly. Yeah, I can't go too far out from here without it not working. Cool. I'm not going to worry about the Sundergrot, the Intruders. Um, there is a Sundergrot quest that seems to uh, be like this one quest other than the one we did in uh, Minas Tirith that gives, or well, by Minas Tirith. Uh, it was actually up at Crit Host, I think. There is um, one quest, other than that quest and main quest uh, stuff, that gives us a Starlit Crystal, so... And we've immediately, actually, <laughs> I just re realized, leveled that up. Can't just reforge it on the go. I mean, there's you can buy stuff to reforge it on the go, but... For, like, you get like an hour or something where you can use it. I'm not sure, it's not very useful to me. Um, and we are using... Yeah, we are using the other bow. I have to make sure that I didn't accidentally, like, sell it earlier. Because I had to sell a load of stuff to clear up my inventory. Because I've been doing a lot of, as I said, scholar stuff. Um, because, you know, if we go down here, we can start doing Emberworthy crafts. Assuming we can get Dwarah Gleam shards. And, you know, if I if that means I just need to go and sit in a Doomfold area and pick up a load of stuff. I can't go against those guys because they're going to not be in... Sundergrot when I kill them, more than likely. Um, yeah, if that means I have to go sit down in one place with a load of, like, chests or, um, nodes, like, scholar nodes, to level, not only get the, like, 
required resources, but level it up. And so be it. Uh, I don't want to go against the driver. He's got too much morale. I need to wait for one to respawn. That's my issue. Uh, because I'm not too confident trying to pick off two. Or wait for him to move. Um, there is one that spawns here, though. So there should be... And you're not... You're just a bat. Why do you have to have... Why does the one that moves have to be the one with the most morale? I might just have to go for these two. And I bet you the moment I do, this... I was about to say someone else will spawn, but it's actually... Uh, this one will, because he's a scout, just appear out of nowhere. Oh, and the driver's here. Oh, okay. Let's, uh... Let's obviously put everything into this scout. Make sure he stays in the area. So he counts towards... Like, oh, we've got to kill two. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, just quickly. I can't do that while moving. I forgot. We're really struggling here. Like, we've still got this boost. Uh, the 25% boost for Welcome Back Weekend, which is good. I was uh, a little bit concerned it wouldn't actually... But when I had the Stone of the Tortoise on, that doesn't show because your XP is just getting completely, like, you know, disabled. So it doesn't need to show you that you got 25% extra boost. Um, cool. So I thought we had missed out on it. I thought it was, like, the one day that we did that thing, and then that was the last day um, that it was available, which was a little bit, um, you know, upsetting at the time. But I realize now, luckily it's here. So we're actually getting, like, 20k experience, which is fine. Um, I'm more interested in quest completions, obviously, because we are very, very close in terms of experience. We have 2 million, 2.7 million bonus XP, and we have 1.5 million to go, which is very weird because... So when I was streaming, I looked at... Oh, thank God it didn't aggro. Um, when I was streaming it, I saw the bonus XP we had left, and that was a day where I hadn't done any quests either. Like, it's not like I, that was the day where we got to here and then finished up for the rest of the day and, you know, we had some bonus XP used up. But it was 1.7 million. And I was like, oh, we've just got enough. Now we're at 2.7 million, and I'm not sure why. And obviously it must have been higher because we've got an XP today. I really don't know what's going on there. Either way, we've done 10. Um, and now I'm not really going to worry about that. We're going to go to Venko. And we're going to go have a little chat with Venko and see how things go. Hopefully all well. Together, we will answer all our foes. Okay, so uh, this doesn't count, annoyingly, because it's not Sunder Drop, which is annoying. But uh, we'll keep Venko over there. Uh, but oh yeah, the reason as well um, I've been doing the Scholar stuff is two reasons really. One is because for the longest time I've been saying I need to uh, level up my Scholar. Uh, I will still say that uh, Eastermnet, I think it was, was horrible. Might be an Eastermnet. Which one? I can I, I can tell you from... No, it, Eastern, Eastermnet was the annoying one. Westernnet I had everything for. Eastermnet just doesn't seem to have any good places to farm stuff. Um, I don't know why that's the case. Why am I being attacked by a badger? Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna revive. It's because I didn't hit that. I do have these morale pots now, though, so I can use those and get some experience. Uh, some morale. I think I used it when it was gonna give me it for free. Oh, and Venko's need to do that, maybe. Just heal Venko up a bit. Not heal him, but like, let him have some respite. I don't think I've ever had a character die on them. Interesting. I've, yeah, I've never had an enemy die on me like that. I think this badger wasn't helping. As, as stupid as that sounds, I don't think the badger helped with that. Right. Only... Problem. Actually, no, I was about to say only problem was that with uh, we don't have press on once, but press on was cooldown is actually part of here, and I'm interested to see as well. Press on once cooldown, okay, so it's 45 seconds is the max, so there's no real worry with us putting it into there. Um, obviously, DPS is nice to increase, um, but 
I guess if we want an extra basically 10% rather than 4%, we would want to go for that. Um, improved strength and earth morale regen. I can use it, but it's a channeling skill. That's my issue. Like, if I'm low in morale, I'm in battle. Um, it's a bit upsetting with that. But, yeah, every, everything on here is no longer applying to us. But as I said, induction bow damage and induction bow critical multiplier. Um, this isn't induction, this isn't induction, this isn't as well. Uh, quick shot and barbed arrow are induction, even though this is only 0.5 seconds. They are induction skills, so they will have that. But the three of our highest damage skills are actually focus skills that we want to focus on. Um, there is a legacy you can get for focus skill uh cost multi uh, critical multiplier i think damage um we do have one legacy slot open on our bow as well and if we really need to we can always uh, swap out to those i have the legacy replacement scrolls which should work um i am a bit worried about benko though like i think we're fine so we've got healing stuff but i don't no, I'm going to try and get this guy, because if he gets Venko with a damage over time, I think we're going to struggle. Um, whereas I can heal from that. I was hoping that like this new bow would be this be-all, end-all, like, hey, suddenly we're, we're not struggling. Yeah, we still are, which I think also points to like our armor, our jewelry and stuff like that needing an upgrade, which obviously we have upgrades, we're just not the level we need to be for it. And that's our issue. Please don't have three. Thank you. Um, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, okay, now it's updated. I was like, why is it not doing it? Uh, talk to Venko South for the Gorge of Sundergrot. Again, we're not worrying about the 10 extra kills. Uh, if we need to come back and do that, then in the future, just to get some stuff. Um, obviously, it would be a nice thing to get, you know, probably this quest chain and, you know, get the starlit crystal but at the same time there's a lot of effort put into it for the moment where we could probably more easily get it from just doing epic battles and getting gear as well even stronger with the practice again i don't know if that's gone up by one i feel like it has because i feel like 75 was what it was before um but talk to glowing ah, it feels good they've all seemingly gone up again. by either six or one i feel like it's got to be one though Climb Hi, with him to High Sundergrot. Of great interest for the long beards. Okay, and let's see how I this goes then. Like to see it. Long ago, during the first age, the Grey Mole Rebellion came to an end among the rocky cliffs of High Sundergrot. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to talk more than that. Uh, Glowine. Continue climbing northward among the crags of the High Sundergrot. I just want to get this quest completed. Like, we're probably only going to get one done today which is this one but at least it's something done then um those were 22k we're getting decent chunks of experience we had at least 200k just from kills today because we we're at 2.7 million remaining bonus xp so in fact does that not then mean we've had 400k because we've had the bonus xp we've had that much bonus xp used up i don't know oh these three are just not I thought they were coming along. What if something happens to me, guys? The fallen winds whistle among the crags, but nothing else moves. Except this door that magically appeared. So it's a drift of snow to the north where a glint of metal has caught your eye. What have I found? Um, that you can suddenly walk again. Broken helmet. That's fine, just common enough. Nothing in our inventory, though. It was here that Motzog the traitor claimed leadership of the dwarves. It's here that he built his, he built his city during the first age of this world. Dwarves fought... Dwarves in this place spilling kindred blood. So this is where you guys patch up your feelings. Is it Karazgar? Why do I feel like it's Karazgar? <laughs> I know we're like well past that plot point, but 
Okay, no. It's, uh, it's, it's Jiren. Jiren? Jiren. Got his name for a moment. Glowing top allies, so your purpose mirrors my own. Please don't be like, how dare you compare, blah, blah, blah. Please don't. <laughs> I don't want that to be the case. So visit High Sundergrot before the great campaign begins, of course. Okay, I thought it was going to be like, weirdly, you know, enchanted or something and be like, how dare you? You know, I would be the first person to be here because I am Durin, son of so-and-so. Okay. Uh, I received Glowing's message at Skarhold not long after it was sent for his message. Ravens were renowned for their speed and the birdie selector was no exception. His tidings of a new lord of Gundabad filled me not with fear but with anticipation for no orc will stand between me and my chosen path, no matter his lineage. I had the message copied and sent to the lonely mat in the Iron Hills and other dwarf holdings. Iron Hills is probably where the other uh, bird went to, or was supposed to go to. Um, and other dwarf holdings on land, both near and far. My armies gather to the, uh, to march on Gundabad, and all will be forewarned with the tidings uncovered on your scouting expedition. I am eager to turn my gaze upon the mountain home and sought no delay, but I wanted to first make sure the journey uh, make sure the journey to Sundergrant. It was here the first Durin to bear their name, put an end to the usurper and Motzog, solidifying his power and his claim to lead the dwarves with that victory. By making this journey, I hope to become closer to my ancient forebear, that I may draw strength for the battles to come from the memory of he whose name I bear. I confess I did not expect so much climbing. You got little legs, all right? Fair enough. So, can we get through here? Is that like it's just like all flooded? North, north, east. I ask you to keep climbing upwards. What? This way. I was like, it's not the door not work? It's all flooded. It's raining. Probably never <laughs> never stops raining. <laughs> okay. Um This way? No. So this way, right? No? I'm so lost. How how is this so difficult for me? This door? Climb oh right. So I can't go up the stair, but I can go up the pillar. I think is what it's saying. Right, cool. Oh lag. Don't know what that was. You hear growling sounds and fluttering wings in the upper reaches of the ruins. There are birds. Bats, actually. This is where I get worried because I'm worried about having not only the bats that can do that to me, um, but also the fact that there's three of them. Like, if it was three sets of one, I'd be fine. If it was even two sets of two, I'd probably be fine. But when I'm only able to attack one enemy and the others are just wailing on me, uh, it's a bit more of a pain. I don't know if there's a legacy for my bow. I don't think there is, because I think I'd be able to see it. I, well, we'll have a look in a minute. I was going to say, I don't know if there's a legacy that allows me to uh, increase my uh, blood arrow, like, regen, almost. I think part of me does want to put press onwards morale up because if we go into here we can replace this legacy and we can get any of these um so we can get like stats but they're not great honestly like honestly agility sounds cool but 264 just put a, a rune on there um but heart seeker we can get damage for uh but more than likely i was thinking of getting um uh where is it Focus bow critical multiplier or focus bow, uh, focus bow damage and power cost. It's only 10% extra damage, but... Oh, crikey. Um, at least it's something. Wow, this is uh, going to be an interesting one. I think I should be fine if I just use barbed arrow and cycle round. If there were two of these, I'd probably be a little bit more stuffed. Uh, but... I think I could get away with it if I were clever enough to switch between targets, make sure they're both both barbed arrowed. I've got to be careful, there's more up here, but I think they're far enough away from each other that they're not going to aggro from each other. Just makes me wish I was champion. But I will say, I've got more and more appreciation for Hunter 
from doing all the Minas Tirith stuff, because as soon as I got guide to Minas Tirith, everything was suddenly a lot easier. Uh, I've not got to go against three of them? Four of them? More of them? <laughs> Please don't aggro. Ah, oh, thank you. Question is, do I have to kill all of them? Like, for sure. Or could I get away with just getting past them? Like, what's the, the requirement? Uh, I need to go down here. And I need to walk backwards. Apparently, I've just suddenly forgotten how to do my entire thing. <laughs> also, my uh, one key is still being a pain. I feel like I should just bind another key, like bind Q to one. <laughs> Probably be quicker. Q do anything? Oh, Q makes me get sideways, doesn't it? Uh. Right, let's just make sure everything is all thwarted. I was hoping this would be like, you know, on those, hey, you know, you just go through a little bit of dialogue and suddenly you're all right. But no, we've got to have a little war of our own over here. I don't want it. It's not bad necessarily. Like, they're not doing damage to us. It's just really slow because they're like four times the morale. At least like three and a half times the morale of everything else around here. Even the bats were fine in comparison. Come on. You can do it. Do I want to use Heartseeker more? Is that a thing that I want to do? Like, if I use Heartseeker, will it help me here? What's my cooldown on it? I feel like I've, I used to use it all the time and then I just sort of 30 to 42k damage. It's like, and then 11k damage every two seconds. So it's like, it is good as a first shot, but that only did 20k. I say only, but like I'm doing 10k with like swift bow, swift arrow, and like 40k with blood arrow. So it's like, is it worth it? I definitely think having Basically 20k damage every two seconds is definitely helping. Like I can noticeably see it. So I think the initial damage isn't bad, like isn't amazing. But the um, damage over time is good. And we have to remember that our damage over time is less at the minute. Like if I were to switch over to my bow, that should go up to... Uh, oh, interesting. So it goes up down because our overall damage is based on our I assume it's based on the damage of the actual attack so by us having more damage overall we're actually getting more damage over time than our bow that has damage over time plus 50% so obviously when we get to uh, having it maxed it will be ideal. I also did find, uh, just looking on the auction hall, that it does look like I thought the, or I was, I was wondering if a level, you know, uh, a, a fully leveled up legacy DPS bow would have more damage than something at 130. Like, is it going to be, is a bow possible to be used at 130? Um, it looks like the critted ones seem to have more, but the non-critted ones have either the same or less. Oh yeah, now I've cleared out everything for you. So, yeah, it's it's going to be an interesting one. But people are selling them for like 1,500 gold, and I don't have that much. I have a third of that, and that would be all my money. I was not so sure I should come here. My thoughts said to me, go to Gundabad, do not delay. It's an interesting looking place. I like the sort of design. Obviously it's like broken, but... My heart said there was a place you used to see. Two voices were there and they were in conflict. They've driven every Durin before you and now they speak to you. Perhaps glowing that may be. Here's all the Durins. I'm glad I came here to High Sundergrot after all. In this place, I feel my kinship with the f during the first more keenly than ever. 
Nemak Benko. May I speak privately with Tavelan? I feel like he's maybe got respect for them now, even though they don't maybe see it. I feel like he'll talk to Glowing and be like, you know, they helped me. Or maybe they'll, he'll talk to me and be like, did they help you? <laughs> yeah, they did. They're good, all right? Sure. Um, I urge you to exercise discretion. I do not belabor the point. I trust you will use such prudence. He's got a thesaurus recently, as the subject requires. I ta uh, task you with finding and defeating the raiding party of Gundabad that endangered the folk living among the wells of Langflood. And from Glowing's message, Raven, I know that you did so successfully. But there is a matter of concern that was not made clear to me in that message. I ask you, then, were Venko... Well, Emma and Venko effective in this errand? Did you have any reasons to question their loyalty? Did you strike as good-hearted allies as the Longbeards? Or did you just take veins of disloyalty and deception running beneath their surface appearance? I don't know if you're familiar with... Sure, yeah, I know about the Grey Moor re Rebellion. Speaking too quickly. Uh, but all my people know the lesson of High Sunday Rot. Uh, even our closest friends can be tempted into treachery, and so was, as was Motzog the traitor. He was one of the dearest friends of Durin, father of the dwarves, and he still raised the Greymoor army in rebellion, claiming a lordship that was not his. During the first repay that treachery with death, though Motzog was once his closest friend. I would not say the Selruka or the Starks are, clear, uh, are as dear to us as that. You assure Durin that you have few complaints about the trustworthiness or effectiveness of your companions. I do not either. Um, still, I advise you to keep an eye upon the Zalruka, especially for his people believe they have a claim upon Gundabad, and I do not want to win it back for the Orcs, only to lose it to these dwarves from the east. I will say, I'd rather take it from the, the Orcs and lose it to a dwarf than just leave it with the Orcs. Obviously, that's not, like, the preferred outcome, but just saying. Like the dwarves who came before me, whose name I now bear. My heart is filled with noble purpose. I commanded my armies to descend upon Elder's Glade. Or Elder's Laid. Elder Slade? They wait for me now. Where is that? Is that not? Oh, we're in this weird thing where it doesn't like to tell us where we are. Um, okay, up here. So we want to get that. That's something else. See? They, they're chill, alright? They're, they're, they're willing to come with us. Yeah, he's the smelly one. <laughs> Not in a horrible way. Um, uh, never mind. Inside joke. Yeah, ins inside joke. I'll, I'll let you know. Friends and allies, our road leads to the north. To Elder Slade. Keep running it as El Elder's Glade. It's really annoying me. Okay, we're done. Let's go. See where this takes us. I don't know if it will take us to like that swift travel point or take us back to Sunderbrunt. Mist Allo. We're okay, so we're like right on the edge. It seems fortune is with us. Okay. The journey was uneventful. Let's take that. I commanded the establishment of a war camp from which we will launch our assault. Okay, we're gonna accept the quest and I wanna at the very least go to the stable master that's there, just so we've got it. Because if I'm gonna go to um what happened? What happened there? I don't have this region. That is the first time I've seen that in a many, a, many a time. I know I need to buy it. Um, I didn't want to buy it like if I wasn't going to be here for ages, but I will definitely get the expansion now. Um, I'm going to quickly go get the stable master. We'll do that. Not that we're necessarily going to be doing too many side quests here, but it is good to have it, obviously. Um, so we've got it available. Um, you know, if we've got a side quest that's going to give us some good stuff, I would rather have it than not have it. Um, honestly, uh, but we do get a starlit crystal, so we will use that quickly on our bow. Make sure it's the right one. Cool. So that's actually two levels we got to that today. Six hundred forty thousand. We're not going to use that. Just saying. Um, and did we say we wanted to use our damage over time, or I could probably use like how many do we have now? Sixteen. Eight on each is probably the best. Um, but yeah, we'll look at all these things that have quest rings that we can't do. In fact, let's just quickly check. We have no tasks to complete. Okay. Stable Master, that's what I want. Because if I can go from, like, Bree to here, that would be ideal. Cool. Uh, Gal Travel Bree to here hopefully works. Um, even if Minas Tirith to here uh, works, that's also good. Um, 21st Tall. Because right now what I'm going to do is go South Bree. No, halt this to Bjorning Hus. And then Bjorning has to Limlock is the way I've had to go. Um, so, 
I'm going to just see if we can, you know, complete a quest quickly. If we can, we'll level up today. You still live. So I would like to level up. I think it would be pretty cool. Welcome to Anak Kurfu. So we're just meeting some dwarves. I feared our paths would not cross again. Nice little place. This reminds me of the place uh, in so near Rigian. You made it. There was that one dwarf or something that was here. Um, are you? Make sure to do no, your share I can't. Work. Obviously, I need to unlock it, so I need to. Can you buy the thing with lottery points? I'm not sure. Okay, it's just going to take me to. Hey, spend ninety nine dollars, which I'll probably just get that. To be fair. Um, I thought they had it for points for any, but then we get copper coins of Gundabad, reputation for this area, uh, collecting a strange crystal. So maybe for next episode, I might not have it by next episode, but maybe like a couple of episodes time, because that is a decent chunk of money to uh, to put there. I just want to complete this quest real quick. <laughs> I know this this episode is going really long. It's going to like a forty minute episode. I just think. If we're that close to experience, we might as well just Once talk to these guys the and get the experience. If it's going to make us Are do like a load of stuff, then maybe not, but 400k and we're definitely going to get like 600k. I am glad to see okay, you are we just need to talk to Durin and then we're done. Cool. So many have come to fight for us. Alright, 129. Great more arriving dwarves. Okay, we'll worry about that later. 129, we are currently 9, let's say 10 million experience from leveling up. So, uh, assuming quests are going to stay roughly the same, minusing the fact that these have the 25% boost, they're about 520k each. Um, that means 20 more quests, and we are level 130. Which 130 means I can get all this armor on, potentially some, uh, I've got a load of these essences, even though they're not amazing, they're better than nothing. Um, we can pick up new bows, new sword. I can buy starlit crystals for embers of enchantment. I don't know why that's a thing. Why would you buy that tier stuff? But also then we can go buy uh, this sort of stuff, you know, the um, the agility weapons and stuff. So get a new sword um, with these. And now that I'm scholar and do have the ability potentially to make these ember worthy crafts, we can hopefully give those in if we get enough stuff and, uh, you know, get more ember worthy crafts. Get more embers of enchantment get new weapons get new stuff um 130 then means we don't have to worry about you know we're at level cap then and it's like hey i think level cap is still 130 i'm still assuming it is but that just allows us to then go right we're at level cap now we can focus on gear um and i don't have to be like hey in like an uh you know one level's time this is going to be outdated i can focus on epic battles get 130 stuff get it all created and all that stuff anyway that's gonna be it for now Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.